In this problem, an adult male is exposed to arsenic through drinking water. If the maximum contaminant level in drinking water is 0.01 milligrams per liter and an uncertainty factor of 100 is applied, what is the approximate daily intake level in milligrams per kilogram day that would be considered safe and not expected to result in adverse health effects? So if you don't know where to start with this problem, we can begin by trying to pull some key words out of the problem statement. Searching for the term uncertainty factor will bring you right to the sections you need in either the civil or the environmental manuals. I mention this because this type of question may be fair game on either the water resources or strictly environmental exam. We can also see that our final answer needs to be in the units of milligrams over kilogram day. Finally, we can look at the words approximate daily intake level, which has a similar wording to the definition of the term reference dose in the same section of the manual. So let's start by writing down our equations that contain the term reference dose. There are a few to choose from here. I started with the one that also contains the term for drinking water equivalent level, since that is the source of our contaminant in this problem statement. So our first equation is going to be DWEL, which is the drinking water equivalent level, is equal to the reference dose RFD times weight over Q, which is our amount of water consumed. More on that later. I also see that the phrase not expected to result in adverse health effects is included here. This would equate most closely to the term NOEL or no observable adverse effect levels. We can see that the manual provides us with an equation for NOEL that contains both terms for reference dose and for uncertainty factor, which is included in our problem statement. The equations will look slightly different in the civil manual, and I will discuss that briefly at the end of the problem. So the second equation is going to be the reference dose equals NOEL over a total modifying factor, MF, times an uncertainty factor, UF. Now that we have both of these equations, we can simplify by substituting all of the terms from our second equation into our first equation. If you prefer, you can also solve them separately. So we're going to rewrite this as the DWEL equals the NOEL over the modifying factor times the uncertainty factor times the body weight over the amount of water ingested. And now that we have all of our terms defined, we can begin replacing variables with values from the problem statement and the reference manual. So our DWEL is going to be equal to the maximum contaminant level in the drinking water. This is going to be 0.01 milligrams per liter. We are solving for the NOEL. Our modifying factor MF isn't given, so we will assume that it's 1. And our uncertainty factor is given as 100. This leaves us with terms W and Q. In the environmental reference manual, these can be found a few pages below the equations in a section called intake rates. An adult male is assumed to weigh 78 kilograms and is assumed to drink 2.3 liters of water per day. Note that in the civil test, these values would likely need to be provided since this intake rates table is not available. Plugging in these values into our two equations, we can see that the terms begin to cross out 
and leave us with the units that we desire. Solving for our final unknown, we can see that the null is equal to 0 0.0294 milligrams per kilogram day, which is our fourth answer on the left. So this problem has a lot of different hints to help you find the right section of the manual to help you. If you can figure out which two equations to use based on the wording of the problem, solving it will be easy. The actual exam may even be more explicit than I was in making this problem. So even if you have some trouble with the problem statement, practicing solving it here once will still hopefully help you to gain some familiarity with this section of the reference manual. And that's all it takes to solve this problem.